thing here. and the flower field is pumping out so many stems for bouquets, but it's time to be thinking about next year and what I want to grow next year. And part of that is we want to expand. So this has been a great amount of space. The pumpkin patch is doing great, but I want more. I want more flowers. I want to grow more. So we are going to prep this area for another field next to our current flower field. And the first thing we do is we need to get out our silage tarp to help kill back this grass and utilize the heat of summer to kill it back. And then we're going to till it and we are going to cover crop it to help add organic matter and nutrients back to the soil. And then that can decompose and sit over winter and it'll be ready for a spring till and planting just like we did the flower field. So out in the field is a mixture of Johnson grass and Bermuda grass and other random, super fun, various versions of grass. But the Bermuda is heavy, it is aggressive, and it seems to never die. But we were able to have some good comparisons on the fields where we did not silage tarp and the fields where we did. And there is so much less grass and weed pressure in our flower field that had the silage tarp versus the pumpkin patch field, which did not. And in the areas where there's holes and the grass could get through, it's as if like the tilling didn't matter at all. It is growing like crazy and it's growing even more because it's getting drip irrigated, which is ridiculous. So the grass is nuts. I barely ever have to weed in the flower field because the pressure is that much lower. Yes, there's some breakthrough. Yes, there's some weeds, but it is nothing like the areas that did not get the silage tarp. So we have realized that this is pretty much an essential step in combating and winning the Bermuda grass fight. I'm trying to pull this edge so the grass can't just make a mess. So we're going to try to get that as tight as possible so that the fields are contiguous with no grass.
field, the same as the other flower field, which means I can fit 10 30 foot rows in this space. So it's gonna completely mirror the other side. I get to spend all winter planning out what I'm gonna put in here, planning out my succession plantings and everything. But the success and response from my local customers for flowers has blown me away. And it is the reason why we're already thinking about expanding the flower farm next year. When we silage tarped back over winter, we had the tarp down for two and a half months. That was largely because why not? There was nothing going on, it was winter time, but also we needed a longer coverage period to actually kill back the grass. But in the height of summer, when you have the heat inoculant to help you, Farmer's Friend, which is the brand we use, says it can be done in as little as three weeks. My husband's in charge of the cover cropping, so he is gonna make the determination when it's time to pull it up. My guess is it'll be about a month, sometime in September, when the conditions are good for tilling, and then we're gonna cover crop. We are going to use a fall manure mix from Johnny Seeds, which is a mix of, I think, about five or six things. We've got hairy vetch and winter peas, and there might be a rye in there all that sort of stuff. Come back in later videos to see what it looks like to do a fall cover cropping. What it looks like, we'll do some progression videos and show you the whole process of getting a new flower bed ready to go for 2023. Bye guys.